Welcome to Cloud Innovators for Telecommunications. I have with me today Mark from Pega Systems and Jen Haas Hewitt from Google Cloud. Welcome everybody. Yeah, nice to be here. Mark, could you introduce yourself a little bit? Yeah, my name's Mark Jackson. I'm part of uh, Pega's um, global CSP industry team. And Jen? Yeah, hi, nice to see you. Brian, Jen Haas Hewitt, Glo uh, global telco industry team, Google Cloud. Awesome. So, Mark, we had some big news together. Could you tell us a little bit more about the partnership we're developing? Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Yeah. So um, back in May at our annual Pega World event, we announced a strategic partnership with Google Cloud. And part of our Pega Cloud Choice strategy is we're allowing our customers now to choose to run their Pega workloads and applications on Google Cloud Platform, which is great. Well, that's tremendous. We love the partnership. And Jen, you're instrumental in this. What kind of use cases are we addressing for our communication service provider customers. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so Mark and I, spend a, we're seeing a lot of traction across our different cust global telco customers. They're really interested in how they can get the best of Google Cloud, which is often a place where they're choosing to put their customer data, sometimes their network data, and they're, and they're also customers often of Pega and the great technology they have around contextual marketing, always on marketing and workflow. And they want to bring the best of Google and the best of Pega. So, uh, the specific use cases that you asked, so for example, one of the big issues that CSP customers have is around churn, propensity to churn, understanding churn. And what we're seeing, Pegas technology is really about um, being real-time, hyper-personalized. So if you think about the power we have within Google Cloud to potentially better understand through our Vertex AI or through other models, when a customer may have a higher propensity to churn, you combine that with the decisioning engine to understand what is the most appropriate next best experience to serve up, then that's where we're seeing the best of the both. Because churn's been around for a while, yeah. right? Yeah. Mark, why, why is it different now? Well, the, I think the beauty of bringing Pega and Google Cloud and that data close together is we can start to do it in real time. You know, and that real-time personalization, understanding, like, like Jen was saying, those events in real time and act, a, acting on them straight away. It could be that the customer is clicking on the website and the pages that they visited real time give a trigger that means we should interact with them at that point because they're about to leave, about to churn, terms and conditions, those sorts. So of it's things. a more holistic view yes, really. in real time that yeah. provides more advantage for the operator yeah, exactly. and really make it happen. So Jen, take me under the covers. Why is this a partnership? What are we using from Google Cloud? How's it integrating into Pega Systems? What's happening here? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, as I say, a number of global CSP customers are already embarking on this journey with us. So uh, they're looking at, for example, they may already be purchasing BigQuery, they may be using our feature store, they may be um, using our call, call center AI product. So what they're trying to understand is how can they, we can create connectors between some of those products and between Pega's products, and so that you get that um, much more uh, rich functionality so that either the call center agents have a better experience and they can interact better with the customer or as I say the feature store may be feeding the decisioning engine so it can happen in much more real time so uh, those are the sorts of things we're looking at and we've got our great um, connection working with our respective product teams to understand what can that future roadmap look like. So Mark we're making it plug and play. We're trying to yeah yeah exactly that's, <laughs> that's, that's pretty right. good. Yeah, that's really good yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And what does that mean for the contact center agent? What are we saving them? What's it mean overall? Well, I think it's, you know, it's going to help, I think, across the whole of that, I would say, engagement life cycle. So hopefully we can infuse, say, Pega's next best action, next best experience technology into self-serve channels through dialogue flow and those sort of things. So, you know, ideally, the contact center agent never gets that call. I often talk to my colleagues and go, well, actually, you've sort of failed once if the person hasn't been able to self-serve nowadays, haven't you? But when they get into that contact center, yeah, if you can make that every agent as good as your best agent by empowering them with, with, with the sort of real-time self-service personalization technologies, then yeah, you can really help your contact centers be more effective and more efficient and be almost profit centers as much as contact centers. That's tremendous. Hey, I'm going to come to you one last thought for each of you. Jen. Uh, I would just say that uh, I think it's a great working partnership. We have uh, a great working relationship. And as I say, we're looking at so much traction, so much opportunity, and uh, we just can't, can't wait to, to bring this experience to more customers globally. Mark, for you. I think I'd echo what Jen said. What I'm excited by is, you know, we've got 
a handful of customers and joint customers and account teams are working with really closely. But if we could just, you know, expand that and all the other opportunity we've got, I think it's, a, it's going to be a, a hugely advantageous uh, uh, partnership, not only for us, but also for the CSPs we work for. So a partnership working for the CSPs. Guys, it's fabulous. Thanks for all your work. And we look forward to talking about more results as we further our relationship. Thank That's you. it for now from Google Cloud Innovators Live.